All right, class, welcome back. Now we're going to do topic 2.6, vertical and horizontal translations. This is our last topic we're covering in Chapter 2, so be ready for your test review next class and your test the class after next. All right, we're going to go back to your absolute value functions. Y equals X minus H plus K. What we have is a parent function. A parent function is any time you remove the H and the K numbers, what is remaining is the parent. So in this case, the parent is Y equals the absolute value of X. And I've taken the liberty of plotting that over here on the board. This is the parent for Y equals absolute value of X. Now, if I were to add an H, let's say I made this Y equals the absolute value of X minus 3. From your previous lesson, you know that that moves this graph not negative 3, but actually positive 3 units. So I would take this graph and move it 1, 2, 3 units, and that would be my new graph. And conversely, if I change this number to a positive 5, I would actually shift my graph back 5 units. So I would start back at the origin where the parent function is and move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units back. Okay, so now let's talk about what happens when you add a number to the outside of the graph. Let's say we had the absolute value of x plus 2. All right, that moves the parent graph up 1, 2 units. And this is y equals the absolute value of x plus 2. Well, what if I said absolute value of x minus 3? Now I start back at the origin. Oops. And I would take that graph and move it down one, two, three. Okay? So what we've learned is that you move up or down for k values, positives go up, negatives go down, and you move left or right for h values, positives will actually go left and negatives will go right. So what I'd like you to do now is compare the graph of y equals the absolute value of x, which you know is the parent function at the origin, with the absolute value of x minus 3. So if we said, let's fill in some points here. Let's use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Well, the absolute value of negative 2 is just 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1. The absolute value of 0 is 0. The absolute value of 1 is 1. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. But if I said the absolute value minus 3, I would have to take this absolute value and subtract 3. I would now be at negative 1. If I said 1 minus 3, I would be at negative 2. 0 minus 3 is at negative 3. 1 minus 3 is at negative 2. And 2 minus 3 is at negative 1. So my new graph would have points at negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 1, I'm sorry, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 2, and 2, negative 1. And if I connected these points, you can see that this graph just moved down 1, 2, 3 units. Okay? Now what we're going to do is both translations. We're going to move both left, right, and up, down. So what I want to do is put my parent function on the origin. Remember, your parent function is what you get if you take out the H's and the k's. So we're back to the absolute value of x. So there's your parent function. And now I'm going to do this function as the shifted function. And remember, this negative 7 actually means that I'm going to go forward 7 units from the origin. So I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
And that negative 5 outside the bars means I drop 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is the translated graph of the absolute value of x. Okay, they will ask you to write an equation. And all you have to remember is that y equals the absolute value of x minus h plus k is your formula. So for saying three units up, is up an h or a k value? Up is a k value, so you would put the three on the outside. And eight units left, an eight left shift is a negative eight move, but remember, you have to put x minus h. And a minus a negative will actually give you a positive 8. So you would have y equals the absolute value of x plus 8 plus 3. All right? Two units right. Well, right is a positive move, so our h is going to be plus 2. And four units up is a positive k move, so k is going to be positive 2. So if you plug in y equals x, minus h plus k. We put in a positive 2 for h and a positive 2 for k, and you should get the equation x minus 2, oops, I'm sorry, plus 4. Change this last k to a 4. All right, now you try the other one. Pause now if you don't want to see the answer. And there is your answer. I hope everybody got that. I'd like you to start your homework now. Your homework is page 88, 7 to 13 odd, 19, 21, and 23, and also page 95, 2 to 18 even. Good luck. I'll see you next class.